Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the minor basilica of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary of Manawag. We will now pray the Holy Rosary. Please kneel. O sacred feast, in which we partake of Christ, his sufferings are remembered. Our minds are filled with his grace, and we receive the pledge of the glory which is to be ours. You gave them bread from heaven to be their food, and this bread contained all goodness. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you gave us the Eucharist as the memorial of your suffering and death. May our worship of the sacrament of your body and blood. Help, Help us to experience the salvation you won for us in the, in the peace, peace of the kingdom, kingdom where you live with the Father and the Holy Spirit, Spirit. God, forever, forever and ever. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done to me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the word was met flesh. And dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. For forth, for we, we beseech, beseech you, O Lord, Lord your, your grace into, into our hearts, hearts that, that we, we to whom the incarnation of Christ, Christ your Son, was, was made known by the message of an angel, May, May by his passion and cross, and cross be brought, be brought to the glory of his resurrection, resurrection through the, the same Christ, Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Behold the faithful and prudent steward, whom the Lord has set over his household. The Lord has shown him his love and covered him with glory. He has clothed him in splendid garment. Let us pray. Father, you entrusted our Savior to the care of Saint Joseph by the help of his prayers. May your church continue to serve the Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us meditate on the glorious mysteries. The first glorious mysteries, the resurrection. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. 
Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The second glorious mystery, the Ascension. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The third glorious mystery, the descent of the Holy Spirit. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The fourth glorious mystery, the Assumption of Mary. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, 
now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The fifth glorious mystery, the coronation of Mary. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We fly to your patronage, O, o Holy, Holy Mother, Mother of God. God Despise not, not our petitions and our, our necessities, but, but deliver us from all dangers. Wherefore, glorious and blessed Virgin, Queen of the Holy Rosary of Manawa, pray for us, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, God whose only begotten, begotten Son, by His, by his life, life, death, and, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, grant, we beseech you, that meditating upon these mysteries of the Holy Rosary, of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Jubilee prayer for the for the golden anniversary of the Dominican province of the Philippines. O God, our Father and Creator, 
in whom, whom we live, live and, and move, move and, and have our being. being. We, we praise you as we gather, gather in gentle grace and gratitude, gratitude on this jubilee of the Dominican province of the Philippines. O God, the Son, our Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, we preach you as the way, the truth, and the life, whose name we proclaim, whose love we strive to incarnate. O God, the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide, we bless you and see the outpouring of your presence in the witness of our words and works, in the consecration of our lives to holy preaching, in speaking only to you and about you, let our celebration be filled with fidelity to our mission, with hope for your promise, and with true charity binding us all in the gospel we share with all peoples. By your will, O God, in your name, O Lord. Amen. Our Lady of the Holy Rosary, pray for us. Our Holy Father, Saint Domine, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Please be seated for a while. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Today is Wednesday in the third week of Lent. We will now have the morning prayer of the Church integrated with the celebration of the Holy Mass. We invite you to actively participate in our prayers. Please stand. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare, declare your praise. praise. Come, let us worship Christ the Lord, who for our sake endured temptation and suffering. Come, Come let, let us worship, worship Christ, Christ the Lord, Lord who, for who for our sake endured temptation and suffering. The Lord is the earth and its fullness, the world and all its peoples. It is He who set it on the seas, on the waters He made it firm. Come, Come, let, let us, us worship Christ the Lord, who for, who for our sake, sake endured temptation and suffering. Who shall climb the mountain of the Lord? Who shall stand in his holy place? The man with clean hearts at pure heart, who desires not worthless things, who has not sworn so as to deceive his neighbor. Come, let, Come, us, let us worship, worship Christ, Christ the Lord, who for our, our sake, sake endured temptation and suffering. He shall receive blessings from the Lord and reward from the God who saves him. Such are the men who seek him. Seek the face of the God of Jacob. Come, Come let, let us worship Christ, Christ the Lord, who for our sake endured temptation and suffering. O gates, lift high your heads, grow higher ancient doors. Let him enter the King of glory. Come, Come let, let us worship Christ, Christ the Lord, who for our sake endured temptation and suffering. Who is the King of glory, the Lord, the mighty, the valiant, the Lord, the valiant in war. Come, let us worship Christ the Lord, who for our sake endured temptation and suffering. O gates, lift higher heads, grow higher ancient doors. Let him enter, the King of glory. Come, let us worship Christ the Lord, who for our sake endured temptation and suffering. Who is he, the King of glory? He, the Lord of armies, he is the King of glory. Come, Come let us worship Christ the Lord, who for our sake endured temptation and suffering. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, Come, let us worship Christ the Lord, who for our sake endured temptation and suffering. Please be seated. Give joy to your servant, Lord. 
to you I lift up my heart. Turn your ear, O Lord, and give answer, for I am poor and needy. Preserve my life, for I am faithful. Save the servant who trusts in you. You are my God, have mercy on me, Lord, for I cry to you all the day long. Give joy to your servant, O Lord, for to you I lift up my soul. O Lord, you are good and forgiving, full of love to all who call. Give heed, O Lord, to my prayer, and attend to the sound of my voice. In the day of distress I will call, and surely you will reply. Among the gods there is none like you, O Lord, nor word to compare with yours. All the nations shall come to adore you, and glorify your name, O Lord. For you are great, and do marvelous deeds. You alone are God. Show me, Lord, your way, so that I may walk in your truth. Guide my heart to fear your name. I will praise you, Lord my God, with all my heart, and glorify your name forever. For your love to me has been great. You have saved me from the depths of the grave. The proud have risen against me. Ruthless men seek my life. To you they pay no heed. But you, God of mercy and compassion, slow to anger, O Lord, abounding in love and truth, turn and take pity on me. O oh, give your strength to your servant, and save your handmaid son. Show me a sign of your favor, that my foes may see to their shame, that you counsel me and give me your help. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Blessed is the upright man who speaks the truth. Hear you who are far off, what I have done, you who are near, acknowledge my might. On Zion, sinners are in dread, trembling grapes the impious. Who of us can live with the consuming fire? Who of us can live with the everlasting flames? He who practices virtue and speaks honestly, who spurns what is gained by oppression, brushing his hands, free of contact with a bribe, stopping his ears lest he hear of bloodshed, closing his eyes lest he look on evil. He should dwell on the heights, his stronghold shall be the rocky fastness, his food and drink in steady supply. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us celebrate with joy in the presence of our Lord and King. Sing a new song to the Lord, for He has worked wonders. His right hand and His holy arm have brought salvation. The Lord has made known His salvation, has shown His justice to the nations. He has remembered His truth and love for the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Shout to the Lord, all the earth, ring out your joy. Sing psalms to the Lord with the harp, with the sound of music, with trumpets and the sound of the horn. Acclaim the King, the Lord. Let the sea and all within it thunder, the world and all its peoples. Let the rivers clap their hands, and the hills ring out their joy. Rejoice at the presence of the Lord, for he comes to rule the earth. He will rule the world with justice and the people with fairness. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that school through the Lenten of servants and nourished by your word through holy restraint we may be devoted to you with all our heart and be ever united in prayer through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit one god forever and ever amen, amen. please be seated
A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses spoke to the people and said, Now, Israel, hear the statutes and decrees which I am teaching you to observe, that you may live and may enter in and take possession of the land which the Lord, the God of your fathers, is giving you. Therefore, I teach you the statutes and decrees, as the Lord my God has commanded me, that you may observe them in the land you are entering to occupy. Observe them carefully, for thus will you give evidence of your wisdom and intelligence to the nations, who will hear of all these statutes and say, This great nation is truly a wise and intelligent people. For what great, great nation is there that has God so close to it as the Lord our God is to us, whenever we call upon Him? Or what great, great nation has statutes and decrees that are as just as this whole law which I am setting before you today? However, take care and be earnestly on your guard, not to forget the things which your own eyes have seen, nor let them sleep from your memory as long as you live, but teach them to your children and to your children's children. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Glorify the Lord, O Jerusalem. Praise your God, O Zion, for He has strengthened the bars of your gates. He has blessed your children within you. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. He sends forth His command to the earth, swiftly runs His word. He spreads snow like wool, frost His truth like ashes. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. He has proclaimed His word to Jacob, His statutes and His ordinances to Israel. He has not done thus to any other nation, his ordinances he has not made known to them. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Please stand. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. You have the words of eternal life. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not think that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. I have come not to abolish but to fulfill. Amen, I say to you. Until heaven and earth pass away, not the smallest letter or the smallest part of a letter will pass from the law, until all things have taken place. Therefore, whoever breaks one of the least of these commandments and teaches others to do so will be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever obeys and teaches these commandments will be called greatest in the kingdom of heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat and welcome to the minor basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Ano ang mas madaling gawin, palitan o remedyohan? What is easier to do, to replace or to remedy? Siguro kapag ka mga bagay, basong nabasag, platong nabasag, madaling palitan, kagabagay. Pero kapag ka tao, hanggat maaari, riniremedyohan natin. Ira palitan ng tao. No? Kahit na ganyan ang asawa mo, mahira palitan yan. Gusto mo na isauli sa nanay mo, mahira palit sa nanay niya, mahira pa rin palitan yan. Maraming bagay dyan, no return, no e-change. No? Touch move. No? 
So pagdating sa bagay, maaring palitan, pero pagdating sa tao, we try as much as possible to remedy, to do something about the person, about people. Kasi sa ay, sa maniwala kayo sa hindi, sa kaloob-looban yan, kawangis pa rin yan ng Diyos. Kaya we try our best na maremedihan ang sarili natin o kaya yung bang tao. Sa Ibanghel yung binasa natin, Jesus corrected the growing thinking at lumalakas ito na papalitan niya lahat. In the gospel that we read, papalitan niya yung batas. But on the contrary, sa binasa nating Ibanghelyo, be careful, I caution you, I did not come to abolish the law, but to fulfill it. Siguro gulat na gulat yung mga taong nakikinig sa kanya because all throughout ng mga preaching niya, naririnig siya na lagi niyang kinikritisize, pinapagalitan, pinagsasabihan ang mga pariseo na patuloy na lang ng padagdag ng padagdag ng batas na nakakabigat sa mga tao. Hindi na makahinga dahil sa dagdag at dagdag ng batas. Batas sa kaliwa, batas sa kanan, batas sa harap, batas sa likod. Hindi ka na makagalaw. No? And that's the situation that the Lord was confronted when He looked at the society and the people sapagkat yung batas na pinapatupad no mga panahon na yon ay napansin ng Panginoon it is not the law that He would like to fulfill. At the Lord said, okay, I'm not going to abolish it but I am going to bring it to fulfillment. Mga kapatid, sa buong disiplina ng kwaresma, the whole or throughout Lent, we are warned from simply multiplying laws. We are even warned from simply following laws na pakitang tao lamang. We are warned about simply showing outward signs that we are repenting. We are warned in many gospel readings that we have read at the beginning of this Lenten season at hanggang dumating ang Simana Santa, we will continuously be warned nitong mga batas na patuloy na nagpapabigat sa atin. So, sa ating binasang Ibanghelyo, tinutulungan tayo ng ating Panginoon na maunawaan kung ano yung authentic na batas, kung ano yung genuine na law na sinasabi ng ating Panginoon. May tatlo po lang po ako dito na karakteristik magmula sa Ibanghelyo ng totoong batas, ng genuine na batas. Unang-una, ang batas ay hindi dapat nakakapagpadagdag ng pasanin at bigat sa mga tao lalong-lalo na sa mga mahihirap. In fact, the law should liberate. Ang batas na pahirap, lalo na sa mga mahihirap, ay hindi makatarungan. Mahirap na nga, papatungan mo pa. Kaya nga laging sinasabi ng, ng lolo namin dito, si Father Enrico Gonzalez, kapag ka tumawag ang mahihirap sa Panginoon, pakikinggan yan. Bakit? Kasi wala nang ibang nakikinig sa kanila. At wala na silang ibang mapupuntahan at mahihingahan ng kanilang mga bigat na dinadala, kundi ang Panginoon. Lahat ng pabigat na batas ay hindi makatarungan. Ito ang issue ng ating Panginoon sa mga pariseo. Padagdag ng padagdag ng batas. Padagdag ng padagdag na masusundin. Padagdag ng, matat, padagdag ng mga alituntunin na yung mga tao hindi na makagalaw. Sige hmm. nga, hmm. sa dami ng batas, wala na. Hindi ka na makagalaw. Hindi na makahinga yung tao. Ang batas ay dapat tumutulong sa atin na nakakahinga. 
nagiging maalwan ang ating buhay, lalong-lalo na yung mga mahihirap. Pangalawa, kapag kapapansin ninyo, doon sa mga criticize na batas ng Panginoon, ano yung focus? Ang focus ay sa bawal, hindi sa pwede. Pagka yung batas ay palaging nakafocus doon sa bawal ito, bawal ito, bawal ito, bawal yan, hindi mo dapat gawin yan, o saan ka papupunta? Ano pang pati paghinga kapag ka bawal, ano pa mo gagawin? Sapagkat ang batas ng Panginoon ay hindi nakafocus doon sa bawal, kundi doon sa pwede. Anong pwedeng gawin? No? Hindi yung anong bawal gawin. Bawal tumawid, bawal sumakay, bawal tumabi, bawal pumunta, kundi ano yung pwedeng gawin. That is the Christian understanding of law. We focus doon sa po pwede nating gawin sa ating kapwa-tao. Doon sa pwede nating maitulong. Doon sa po pwede nating gawa ng paraan na maibsan yung kanilang mga paghihirap na pinagdadaanan. Ang daming pwede. Kaya lang na highlight yung bawal. Hindi naman sinasabi kong mahir, masama yung bawal mga nanggaling sa Manila dito, sabi ni Father, dapat pala hindi tinitingnan yung bawal. O reto, 160 pa uwi. Hindi naman po yung ganoon. No? Kundi ang sinasabi sa atin ng ating Panginoon, sa binasa nating Ibanghelyo, is that focus on what you can do for the good of your brothers and sisters. Focus on the many things that you can do to make the life of your neighbors a little bit better. Pwede? Pwede. Sapagat ang batas ay dapat tinutulungan tayo na gumawa ng kabutihan. Pangatlo, at ang pinakamahalaga, is at lahat ng batas ay dapat na uuwi lang sa dalawang pinakamahalagang batas. Ito yung sinasabi ng Panginoon na I will bring it to, to fulfillment. I am not going to abolish it. On the other hand, I will fulfill it. At ano yung fulfillment ng lahat ng batas? Ang fulfillment ng lahat ng batas ay batas pa rin. Kaya lang ito na yung batas ng bagong tipan. Lahat ng batas, nung lumang tipan, at kahit na yung batas natin in our present society, ay dapat na uuwi sa dalawa. Sa ano yun? Love of God and love of neighbor. Of love of neighbor. Di ba? Hindi ko po yan gawa-gawa, kundi nasa Ibanghelyo yan. There are only two most important laws. Love God with all your heart, with all your heart, with all your soul, with your entire being. Ano yung pangalawa? Love your neighbor in the same manner. Tara huwi. May mga may-ari ng corporation dito. Sa amin dito, sa mga novices, sa seminaryo. Dami rin batas. <laughs> Dami rin namin batas. Bawal pa muna silang uh, mag-cellphone. Bawal silang manood ng TV. Daming bawal. Pero ang dami rin pwede. Pwede silang magdasal. Pwede nilang pagdasal. Kaya nagda, na ipagdadasal lahat ng mga intentions ng mga nagpapadasal dito. Ang daming po pwedeng gawin. But if you're simply going to emphasize kung ano yung bawal, malulungkot ka, madidepress ka, magkakaroon ka ng mental health issue. Pero maraming pwede. Maraming pwede. The genuine Understanding of the law in the Christian faith is that pwedeng mahalin natin yung Diyos ng buong puso at ng buong katapatan. At pangalawa, ang batas na po pwedeng magmahal tayo ng kapwa natin 
kahit na yung ayaw na ayaw na nating mahalin. Diba ang ganda? Sa banasa nating ibanghelyo, the Lord warned the people, cautioned the people, I did not come to abolish the law. On the other hand, pumunta po ako rito para dalhin ang batas sa fulfillment nito. Tatlo, it should liberate, law should liberate, should not add burden. Pangalawa, the emphasis on pwede rather than sa bawal. At pangatlo, genuine law should always lead to the basic. Love God and love of neighbor. Can you all stand? Let us pray to our Father, the giver of all good gifts, that we may always obey His laws with a free attitude of Christ. And let your response be, Father, let us obey as Jesus did. Father, let us obey as Jesus did. Let the church be bring to people the light of Christ by preaching of the gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father let, us let us obey, obey as, as Jesus, Jesus did. That legislators may not good laws for the benef benefit of the people. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father let, let us, us obey, obey as Jesus, Jesus did. did. That government leaders may implement laws and bring freedom and justice to their constituents. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father, let us let obey us, as Jesus, Jesus did. Let all people may come to know God and follow His laws written in their hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father let, let us, us obey as Jesus, Jesus did. Let the sick, the deprived, and the lonely may be given due care, attention, and respect. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father let, let us, us obey, obey as Jesus did. For Pope, the College of Bishops, parents, relatives, benefactors, and for all those whom we promise to pray, we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, Father, hear let us obey as Jesus, Jesus did. did. For the prior provincial and for our brothers and ministry at Bahay Dominico and St. Mary Magdalene, we pray. Father, Father let, us let us obey as Jesus, Jesus did. In a special way, we also pray for the healing of the sick, especially those who ask for our prayers, we pray. Father, Father let, us let us obey as Jesus did. For the intentions and the of the devotees and pilgrims of our Lady of the Holy Rosary of Manawag and for our personal intentions. We pray. Father, Father let, let us obey, obey as Jesus, Jesus did. did. Father in heaven, give us the grace to abide by your commandments and to foster your law and word among all who are placed in our care. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed today, you Lord God of our creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you for to the earth, work of human hands, it will become for us a bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed today, you Lord God of our creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you for the divine work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name. 
for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, we pray the prayer of your people along with these sacrificial offerings and defend those who celebrate your mysteries from every kind of danger through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is only right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you will that our self-denial should give you thanks. Humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels as with one voice of praise we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of our holiness. Make all that therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take these, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take these, all of you, and drink from it. For this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you are thus worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partake on the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Archbishop, Fidelis, our Auxiliary Bishop, Gerard, the Master of the Order of Preachers, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. 
Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Please all stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who we art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as, as we forgive those who trespass, who trespass against, against us. us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said the apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the side of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. My dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Now blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Please kneel. Prayer for the elections. Let us pray that the forthcoming elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides the destinies of nations. Let us pray together, deliver us, Lord. Deliver <clears throat> us, Lord, from coercion, intimidation, violence, and terrorism. Deliver us, Lord 
from dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth. Deliver us, Lord, from bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud. Deliver us, Lord, for threats and perverse language. Deliver us, Lord. Let us pray together, hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord, that conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord, that the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord, that human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord, that the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord, the genuine fear of God and the love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Hear us Lord. Lord. Let us pray, Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others. May our political engagements for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please all stand. Let us pray. May the heavenly banquet at which we have been fed sanctify us, O Lord, and cleansing us of all errors make us worthy of your promises from on high. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord said, do not think that I have come to abolish the law of, and the prophets. I have come not to abolish, but to fulfill them. Blessed be the God, the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come, come to, his, to people his people and set, and set them, them free. free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord, the Lord said, Do not think that, that I have, I have come, come to abolish the law and, and the prophets. I have come, come not, to, not to abolish, but to fulfill them. Please be seated for a moment for some announcement. Dear devotees of Our Lady of Manawag, the summer feast of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag will be on May 4, 2022, third Wednesday after Easter Sunday. The Novena Masses will be scheduled at 6 a.m., 7.30 a.m., 9 a.m., 10.30 a.m., 12 noon, and 4.30 p.m. from April 25 to May 3, 2022. Additional Mass at 3 p.m. on May 1st, Sunday. We invite you to participate in this Novena Masses. If you wish to sponsor one or several Masses, you may fill out the form at the counters for Masses area and submit it with your donation where you will be provided with an acknowledgement receipt. Or you may visit our website www.manawagminorbasilica.org for the online PAMISA. All names of donors and sponsors will appear in the electronic souvenir program. 
Thank you very much for your continued support. God bless you. Please stand. Before I give the final blessing, muli po maraming salamat sa pagdalaw ninyo sa Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag at lalong higit sa pakikisa po ninyo sa banal na misa. Tuloy po kayo makakaasa ng aming mga panalangin para sa lahat ng diboto, ng mahal na ina ng Santo Rosario ng Manawag at iniiling din po namin ang inyong panalangin para may pagpatuloy namin ang mga gawain namin dito sa Minor Basilica. And more importantly, we continue to pray for one another. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the Almighty God bless you all. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The mercy is ended. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. We shall now say the prayer for the blessing po ng mga may sakit dito at nasa bahay, nasa hospital. We pray for them. And this is to be followed by the prayer for the blessing po ng inyong religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness so that our sick brothers and sisters feed them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, we will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Para naman sa inyong religious articles, we bless them. In memory of the miseries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may your religious articles be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.